was a magazine. Um, so before then, I was doing divine intervention. I was doing compilation albums and different things with the uh, urban gospel acts in Birmingham. Mm. And then I um, had an opportunity and, to, and ran a magazine because I felt like we never had much of an opportunity in Birmingham. And then um, as we developed the magazine, it blew up and everyone loved it in London and whatsoever. So it was effectively it was, you know, a brummy breaking into London media market was amazing, you know, amazing. Um, having, you know having a magazine which rivaled a lot of the magazines at the time in a secular world. It mm. was respect, well respected. And um, we decided, um, had an opportunity to work with an artist called The Truth. And we thought we'd put on an event and we decided to call it um, GL Live. Okay. And um, everyone said we was mad because you don't <laughs> want a night full of gospel rappers and have no singers. And we just had pure rappers. And um, everyone says, Roger, this is ludicrous. I remember one of the guys I was working with, he says, Roger, you might have to give away all the tickets because um, no one seems to be want to come. And really? I said, no, but I said, listen, mate, yo, have faith, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, have faith. You know what I'm saying? The guy was panicking, panicking. And, um, and we so a few, few days we, we came to Birmingham first all of a sudden now Birmingham rap was definitely not, not a no-go zone and we did it at uh, uh, Mount Zion Church and um, we had about 500 young people turn up you know wow. uh, and was like hold on as soon as London heard about that yeah um, we sold out in London and we had 800 people um, at, in London and this is when rap was like and then it was fire, the event was absolute fire. We had the truth for about a week's mm-hmm. period. So we had one weekend we had him in Birmingham. The next weekend we had him in um, in um, London and that was amazing. That started from there. Then we had the Cranex. guys you know at the time they were big but you know to sexy them in, in in the flesh massive you know mm. hundreds of people turned up and then we thought we diverse a bit of uh, fire beat and we moved on to jr and lisa mcclendon definitely a total different vibe mm. and then we moved on to um you know do we, like we had um we bought off a guy called Man in Music who everyone's raving about now. Yeah. And it's quite funny because everyone says, Oh, Roger, you need to bring up an artist like Man in Music again. And I'm like, Hold on a second. <laughs> when I first spoke to Man in Music, I actually found him on MySpace. My uh-huh. friend says, Watch this guy on MySpace playing a guitar in the back of a car uh-huh. in, in America. He says, Yo, this guy's hard. <laughs> and we use that video on MySpace yeah. as a template to negotiate with an artist playing his guitar in the back of his, his, wow. his, his car. Comes to the UK. Mm. blows up silly on the as we promote him for the event he starts to blow up and then at the event you know and afterwards look at him now he's signed to Akon a massive you know massive amount of artists he's got an amazing video where he's released that now yeah. and he's got some really cool cool material out there Let's go. Hey, hey. I think as well, I think mm-hmm. um, there's, a, there's a holistic message as well when it comes to gospel. I think sometimes we can t- tunnel 
gospel and mm-hmm. switch off and say, oh, they're going to t- talk about this Jesus, this Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah? But sometimes, you know what? We need to have hope in life, you know? Yes. And I think that a lot of negative music, a lot of music which you find these days is all about like a negative outcome. My dad's not here, my this, my that, you know what I mean? What I'm going to do you over. I got mm-hmm. You know, it's not about that. And it's also bringing across a, a message of hope. And, and the Bible is holistic, so it deals with positive way of handling money, positive way of uh, approaching relationships okay. you know how to opposite you know if we listen to music it's very negative towards um, the opposite sex from a male perspective okay. and i think that um and i'm sick of tired of having that i've got two sons mm-hmm. and i don't want to have treat women like how to treat them in the tracks that i'm hearing okay. you know and I'm, I'm seeing tracks young ladies are dancing up to and i'm thinking do you know what these lyrics are about mm. and it's about bringing something which is yeah. more positive the total opposite side of the spectrum to that so it's not just about okay. jesus jesus it's about a better way of living mm. okay but it's also about bringing across a positive message and that's what we're about with GL as well you know it's a main thing is inspiring young people a lot of people are feeling down depressed recession the whole thing is focused around you know what is success and GL you know? stands for gospel link yeah correct okay. yeah 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 yeah. Right. so it's, it's a great it's, for me it's just really inspiring a new generation but also for people to come away from an event and actually be smiling actually mm. want to do something positive mm. be uplifted you know so not, what will people come away wanting to do you think me personally is to actually look inside of them and see what they can do to bring across their creative skills because we we run a company which is about creativity and it's not just about the guys on stage as well we have a team of young people which actually put these events on as well so it's not just about american artists it's about young people in the local area utilizing their business skills utilizing their customer care skills utilizing elements which are not so what do you do do you train and develop people or you actually you do yeah we do we uh, work with young people over a period of time we put on these projects and it's with a team about 20 to 30 uh, young people to put these events on so they'll be doing camera work they'll be doing recording elements on a day as well so it's, and they will literally run the sound itself at the drum they literally put their hands up and we leave us to it because our young people that we've trained up over time sound engineering literally run the sound themselves so for us it's really a case of it's bias you know and, and it's this event's not just by people just coming into town these are by young people and we need to support them not only because it's at the drum but at the same time it's just inspiring our young people to carry on doing this mm-hmm. um, Keep the most high and your life up but the main thing with, with gospel music for me passionately be over the years is that the gospel that is not not spoken you know and i think that you know gospel from deep down and actually our lifestyle is a more powerful message than actually just saying it across the words there's no point saying about glory going to heaven when your life doesn't represent that mm-hmm. that's what throws people off that's why you got tvs and media set up just to catch off any artist and they spend the whole time gossiping about artists because if they cheat on the wife if they do this mm-hmm. they're looking for okay you meant to live a certain moralistic mm-hmm. lifestyle mm-hmm. you know so as christians we portray a message that yeah. we have to live to mm-hmm. and then people says oh it's elitist it's not fair mm-hmm. but the reality shows um it's harsh but you know we meant to Who's read it harsh Two, four. Is it harsh? People say it's harsh to have a, I'm not saying a perfect life, but a life which is trying to attain to the message that you bring across. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's if I say something and you know, when you're children, when you're growing up and your dad tells you to do something and he does it, mm-hmm. and he, and he does it mm-hmm. you think he's a hypocrite. You're like, hold on a second, you know, you can't tell me Actually, that you don't. My daughter does that to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll say, I'll tell her about the, the plate and the coffee in the bedroom. Mm-hmm. And then the you live, yeah, 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 yeah. But I was writing my book. I just got in the middle of she says, Mum. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's, it's a classic when my dad used to um, drink out the carton. If you mm. can't drink out the carton, no, my dad would come in and eat it. Then he can. can. So you think, oh, that's hypocritical. <laughs> so it's a case of for ourselves as well. It's, you know, if, if I'm going to say something, it's going to be hypocritical for me not to mm. try to at least achieve that lifestyle. Okay. And it actually blocks the message. So straight away, I'm to my dad. I'm like, I'm doing it myself now because I'm like, as soon as I get my house now, I'm like, it's with the carton because, yeah. I'm got, because my dad does it. Dad, and you'll be dad thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in charge now, so I'm going to do it. So I'll go again. I'll, I'll do what he said yeah. not to do. So I think the key thing as well for being and bringing, coming across the gospel message is to walk, walk the walk and talk the talk. talk. Yeah. yeah. That's, how it, talk. That's, and that's how to do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> They have the tendency to get sucked in to what you're about to hear now. So 
you're about to see What I'm about to do Y'all, but it ain't about me When I sing or when I speak People don't listen to I mean, just hear what God is trying to reveal to you Do my lyrics Do my melodies yeah. Rhythms and beats Oh, my harmony um, what's up, Neil? Five years, no GL Live, bro. What happened, man? Um, you know, we've been, I've been coming here with some new young acting up here, right? And yes, I sir. felt like, when I was doing GL Live last time, I, I felt like the scene was changing. Yes. Um, I felt that it was time for me to invest my gifts and skills into local young acts, yes. you know? Yes. And to really go to ground level, and I feel that at this time right now, it's now to, um, as I say, the truth. Being, being the real things over from America, you yes. know, and I think that, um, for the young artists in Birmingham to mature, mm. you know, you know, just seeing somebody from some fresh angle, yes. coming from um, just yes. the baggage that we don't have locally, yes. you, know, you know, and come with Misha is purist as well, yeah. you know, yeah. passion, you know, I mean, they work like us, yeah. they bleed like us, you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean, we're not a no, loving that, loving you know that, 20 grand a, a, a show thing, no, 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 who no, might no. I know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, for me it's a case of um, because of the UK grime scene, we need to in the UK uh, realize that we have to represent that as different to the US rap scene. Yeah, yeah, and young people now are growing up not feeling US rap or feeling UK yeah, rap. Yeah. So when I'm doing the events, I'm gonna look at not only just a rapper. Yeah. I'm just looking at what style of rap. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, there's local rap people, and it's just that like. edition of GR Live and it's back after five years and we were just talking in the uh, over the track and uh, understanding that you were there five years ago yeah so this is the first time you're performing mm -hmm. how significant is that for you then um, I mean what that must be a bit crazy to be have watching it five years ago and now you're gonna be on stage supporting some of the big massive US artists that Rogers brought over <laughs> yeah <laughs> To be honest, I didn't really look at it like that until today and I'd say, you know, I've come a long way in those four or five years mm -hmm. and um, again, getting involved with GL, I've, I've been able to grow. It's not just like I've been a spectator and then I'm suddenly jumping on. Over those few years, I've been able to see the ins and outs and kind of the mechanics behind mm -hmm. the, the nights that GL produce and so I think that understanding was really important for me to have before I got on stage. So I'd say that the years between me first coming to a GL event and now me rapping at an event, they were the kind of years of me gaining an understanding and more knowledge into the process of the nights. Okay. We are. 